You know what time it is. It is now time, once again, for Hack Time. This is the third in the Hack Run series. This is released in July 18th, 2017, around two years after Hack Run Zero. Once again, developed and published by I-273 LLC. This one... Once again, your mission is to penetrate a strange organization's infrastructure to discover their secrets. Your employer needs help discovering who is out to get her, and she only trusts you to take on this perilous mission. Hack Time uses old-school prompts like DOS and Unix to access virtual programs and systems, gain access to users' files and emails to discover new ways to dig deeper and deeper. Note, Hack Time is the third installment in the Hack Run series. You should try the first version, Hack Run, before starting this game. I guess we will see. Uh, we do have some lore in our back pocket here, and uh, we do have some experience with the previous two games, although there was a pretty stark difference between the first and the second, both in terms of gameplay and story. Uh, the second one had, uh, it seemed, fewer um, command line um, we, uh, we mostly just looked at email and, and, and typed passwords. That's really all we did. Um, not that the first one was too different from that, but there was a little bit more variety in there. First one in terms of gameplay and puzzles, easier, uh, but more fun than the second one. So I am curious, if not eager, to see what this third one is like. And as with the first two, we begin with a mysterious offer. Hello again, Alex. I understand that your time is precious. However, we have been experiencing a series of disturbing events at a research facility, and I need your help. If you accept my offer to complete the objective, you will be generously rewarded. Sincerely, Professor Janice Filborn, National Institute for Temporal Event Distortion Research. Uh, P.S. Very nice work on your last mission. I followed your pro your progress closely and was very impressed. So, uh, Professor Janice Filborn is uh, somebody who is teased at the end of Hack Run Zero. Hack Run Zero, it turns out, was a prequel to Hack Run. Um, in Hack Run Zero, we were contacted by a... Um, let's see, what was it? What kicked us off? Oh, right. Um, Z, mysterious Zero organization, uh, kidnapped our cousin and forced us into work. Along the way, we saved Alice, Hetty, and Tony, um, and defeated Zero and Axis Electricity. Um, in Hack Run, after that, Alice went to work for reusing nature a pharmaceutical company we followed along with her we had our memory wiped and we hacked into their organization and accidentally sent aliens to destroy the earth well not accidentally that's what the game told us to do um so zombies aliens and this one clearly dealing with some kind of time travel because we have the national institute for temporal event distortion research so let's begin as we begin by accepting the offer i am first going to check um i don't see any achievements for this one? Odd. I don't really know. The last, first one had 50. Second one had 72. This one doesn't have any. Hm. Okay, then. You successfully accepted Janice Filburn's offer, advancing to level one. Okay, here we are once again. Same deal, I'm guessing. Yeah, there's the FAQ. System status, our achievements. Start local host. So because there's no achievements, we also have no idea how many levels there are. Uh, we must begin by fortifying our font size so that the people at home can see what we do. Okay. Yelp. Uh, mail. Oops. I forgot. Three first. Uh, joke bot. A skeleton walks into a bar holding a bucket and a mop. Okay. You are to be wanting pleasing women, but more than anything, we guarantee her most pleasure with you. Whoops. We guarantee her most pleasure with you. Satisfy us to pay now $100 for free sample. Go to work on her now. Uh, and I gotta adjust my size here because we're screwing things up. 
Thank you for sacrifice. Thank you for accepting my offer. I promise I will do whatever is necessary to compensate you after you complete your work. Before we can begin, I hope you'll understand. I need to be assured that you are the right person for the job. If you can complete three tests, I'll know that I can trust you with the full details. I'll help you with the first one. Download the attached program, log into my system as me, and, well, if you're as good as I've heard, you'll know what to do after that. Good luck, Alex. I'll be waiting for you. Um, ba -ba 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 -da 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 Institute, launching institute type help for help. Okay. Con exits. Well, we're going to want a con. Establishing connection to the TDI system. Warning the system is designated for valid personnel only. Oh, that's uh, supposed to be the username. Um, well. We don't have uh, usernames like um, yet. Um, alt e. e was there. Um, institute con. Um, typically has been first names. Um, did you give us a clue? Oh, we got a new text somewhere in here. Wait, wait, wait hold on. I got to back up because something happened. Um, oh, okay. A text came in while I was in the middle of things that I missed. I forgot to tell you about myself. I like four-letter words and using my left hand. Well, sometimes my left hand makes four-letter words. Sometimes they're just four convenient letters. And you can call me Jan. Okay, so the username is going to be Jan. Um, <clears throat> sometimes my left hand makes four-letter words. Sometimes they're just a convenient four letters. Oh, it's... The, the the left hand home row is that what it is uh no no um con jan okay that was it it is the first four letters underneath the left hand on the home row okay Male. Good. Good, yes, good. Well done. Your skills have gotten you this far. Let's see if you can pass the next task. You need to use the web command to surf to our institute's website. I'm sure you'll find some information, good information there. Access. Welcome to the Temporal Distortion Institute's computer system. Remember to use the help command if you have any questions. As a reminder, if you hit the RSH command, you may it may not appear in the help menu. However, you can still use that command anytime. Remember, you'll need to enter your unique four-digit numeric access code and password. My note-taking becomes less and less diligent as we go. Okay, and last one, sys. Hey, sis, just wanted to tell you I'm going to be late again. Work's been kicking my ass lately, but hopefully I'll be able to come get some rest soon. Talk to you later, Jay. Uh, web automatically uses the bookmarks, so I don't have to do web bookmarks anymore. That's nice. N-I-T-E-D-R. Knitter. Scientists and test subjects are dedicated to discovering Gaul. Discovering Gaul. There is to discover Gaul. And more. A friendly note to our bleeding heart friends, our research center here at Night Doctor. 
is not impacting the planet, its people, or most other life forms in a negative way whatsoever. Thank you for your ever-present concern. We really appreciate you telling us again and again at every opportunity you have. But you can stop now. We're a completely open, publicly funded institution, so we don't have any secrets to hide. Seriously, we know what we're doing here. It's all good. Well, I, for one, feel very reassured. Here at Night Doctor, I'm proud to lead a team of brilliant research scientists dedicated to discovering the secrets of temporal event distortion. While it's true I was initially hired by the Institute to be their hot spokes model, I quickly revealed my talents to my colleagues and assumed the position of head scientist. Even though I'm beauty, I'm beautiful and brainy, I never lose sight in reaching our ultimate goal, to apply our findings to help shape the future of the world, or the past, depending on the results of our latest tests. And speaking of tests, I'd like to introduce you to our test subjects, beer, soda, and milk, three of the world's hardest working bottlenose dolphins in scientific captivity. Weird names. But don't call them fish. They don't like it when you call them fish. It's our sincere hope that with their help, we will unlock the mysterious secrets surrounding temporal distortion events and once and for all answer the timeless question, can dolphins predict the future? And if so, would they share it with us? Thank you for taking the time to learn about me, my team, and our research. And before you leave, be sure to run over to the news page to see our latest findings. Okay, latest findings. What's temporally new? Note that wasn't a temp typo. Well, uh, didn't think it was, but okay. Uh, let's start at the bottom. I posted eight hours ago. 3558. Here are the results of our latest batch of tests as soon as we access this code's meaning. Okay, well, that's the code that we need. We just need the password. Um, have time, drop us a line, interest in subscribing to our club, have something to share with us personally, unlock the mysterious secrets of temporal event distortion, then we want to hear from you, just give us, j just email uh, us at I agree to give up all my rights to any valuable research at nightdoctor.com, do it now. Uh, milk loves soda, we don't like to gossip, okay, maybe we do, it appears that milk's hot for soda, how can we tell? Simple, beer told us, check back for more gossip soon. Close to three hours ago, dolphins can predict the future. However, they only predict it correctly half the time, and we're only able to decipher their predictions half the time, and they only share their predictions with us half the time. And then there's the fact that they like to tease us with prank predictions half the time, so basically we still need to run more tests, but stay tuned. Let's see, what what is their accuracy rate? So we have 100% of the time they make a... Wait, uh, they can only... Okay, so 100% of the time they make a prediction. Half the time it's correct, so 50%. And then half the time, uh, they don't share it, right? So we're at 25%, or was it 12.5 already? Let's say 25, I guess. I lost track of where I was. Anyway, and then half of those will be pranks. So we're down to 12.5. And did I miss one? Oh, yeah. And then, so they, sh they share it. They, they get a prediction. They predict it correctly, they share it, it's not a prank. Oh, and then are we able to decipher it? So 6.2%, uh, about 6.3% uh, is their accuracy rate, um, which I gotta say, I'm not an expert on dolphin predictions um, or the, the clairvoyance thereof, uh, so I have to assume. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, all right, so we have a code. We just don't have a password. Could be the same password. Let's copyright 3558, all rights reserved. Okay, that's different. I mean, that's the exact same code as the Roman numerals, so... Feel like I've been given the code twice. All right. Um, password. What could be? Uh, 
3558. Oh, okay. That was the same password then. Um, available for all your scientific research needs. To access a list of commands, type help. Holy moly. Okay. Um, view project by number, user or subject message, info about this utility. I got it. You know what? I know we just got started here, but I got to take a break. I'm going to um, give myself a little bit of a, let me get a drink. Uh, just uh, hang tight here. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to pause the video for you. So for you, it will be instant. I probably shouldn't be explaining this, but if I sound different when I come back, hopefully it's because I'm not tired anymore. Info. Splitting information. Okay, the RSH Research Status Helper is a complete utility to assist in storing and retrieving information regarding your scientific research. With this utility, you can create project groups, assign a leader and or team members, add a project description, and finally attach your precious scientific data to the project for archiving. We understand how important it is to facilitate effective communication within your team, so we included a handy message feature. You can use to send, receive, store messages with your colleagues. Happy researching. Uh, can I find Jan? I'm able to find... Oh, that's a project. Okay. Message Jan. Me messages are currently offline. Okay. Um... Okay, and it's do it's doing the same goddamn thing that Hack Run Zero did, where it's waiting for me to enter commands before it gives me the next clue. I just had about 25 fucking seconds there where I'm just wondering what to do because I haven't been given information. Uh, I must admit I'm impressed, Alex. You have done far better than I could have hoped. You're almost ready to learn because I... Okay, whatever. You're almost ready to learn the reason why I hired you. There is a hidden project in the RSH system with all of the details. You'll need to use the correct keyword to find it, and I'll make it easy for you. Remembering I make... I like left-handed four-letter words. You must hurry, Alex. A t stitch in time. Uh... Find, save... One project with the keyword save, project ID. So then do I need the... So I need to, like, have uh, you. The, so view 10, 17. All right. Project save me. Lead Janice Filburn. Details, if you're reading this, you have proven your skills as a cunning hacker. Goddamn right I did. Very well. I can now share the full reason I hired you to hack into my institute. As you gathered from our website, it's true I was initially hired on by Night Doctor to be their sexy spokesmodel. All they were looking for was some giggling dits to share our research with the public. And I easily landed the job on all fours. What? <laughs> what, what they didn't know was that I had been studying temporal distortion events for years, and I had just earned my doctorate. Yes, I'm sexy and smart. Uh, Janice, take it down. <laughs> I like to say I earned my PH double Ds. <laughs> God damn. Well, it didn't take long until I became the scientific team lead. Everything was going perfectly, but then something somehow went horribly wrong. I can't explain exactly when I realized it, but at some point I began feeling like my research here was being sabotaged. Someone here doesn't want our research to succeed. They don't want me to succeed, and I can't let them stop me. I must be able to complete my life's work unhindered, and that's where you come in. Find out who is behind this sabotage and help me take them down. Do this, and I'll make sure you walk away a very wealthy and satisfied customer. You'll be on your own for most of your journey, but I'll help you along the way when I can. The best place to begin your search is to learn about our research. We didn't always use dolphins, so the project name may be a bit misleading. I didn't name it. Apparently it was from someone who likes to use both hands. 
but I'm sure you'll be able to find it. One last thing. The message system may have been offline earlier, but it should be working again soon. Good luck, Alex. The Wonder Twins and I are counting on you. My God. You can talk this. Every female character in these games is just so fucking thirsty. It's just ridiculous. It's like an it's like an adolescent fantasy. It's just just so dumb. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So we didn't always the project name may be a bit misleading. I didn't name it. Apparently, it was from someone who likes to use both hands. Okay. So. Uh, we're looking for an animal name that goes across the keyboard. Uh, find... I'm just going to start with monkey. No. Find... There's so many animals. Did I really guess it? I'm, I'm surprised I didn't... I must have got lucky. Temporal Fish. Lead Janice Filburn again. He members Amber... Oh. Oop. Oop. Uh, beep. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Up, up, The goal of this project is to determine if fish, now dolphins, can... Oh, because the doll don't call them fish. Uh, can predict the future if they can... Uh, will they share that information with us? These questions, play okay, this is the same thing as on the site, but with fish. Okay. Am I just waiting for them to give me more information now? Because I feel like I got... Well, she said the messaging system was up, so I'll just try messaging Jan. And uh, sent sent me a text. You've learned about the research that I do here, and the team that I lead would make sense if one of my team is the culprit. See what you can discover about them. Maybe find out what they've been saying. Amber. Dress. Um. Message dress. Hey boss, love the dress you're wearing today. Very sexy. Is that silk? I just love the way silk feels. Mm -mm, I have this one silk dress that even makes me look like I've earned my PHB degree. I'll wear it tomorrow to show you. Talk to you later. PHB? Is that a... Is that a euphemism with which I'm unfamiliar? PHB? Polyhydroxylbutyl rate? I don't think that's it. Um, personal health budget? No. Poorhouse Bistro, San Jose, California? No. Pointy haired boss from Dilbert? Bachelor of Philosophy? No, I don't think any of these are. I don't think any of these are the answer. But I'm also feeling like this is the kind of answer I'd get from like Urban Dictionary or something, and it would end up meaning something fairly rude, so. Probably doesn't bear looking into. I just completed my new tasks this morning. I wanted to get them finished last night, but well, you know. Oh, and I just remembered I wanted to tell you earlier about your dress. Did you know that silk was discovered by the goddess of silk in 2640 BCE? I know I'm a silk whore. Talk to you later, Ambi. I don't think that checks out. I think Silk was discovered by probably someone other than the Goddess of Silk, and probably not at that time. Um, is a Ambie is the signature? Oh, to Janice. Okay. So, okay. She goes on about Silk a lot, so that's probably her password. Two messages. Um, let's check out uh, Boyd. Nothing. Uh, Chloe. 
Dex C Ethan A okay. Um Uh, is there, can we do the, uh, can we still jump? No, we can't. Connect. Amber. Silk. I'm already logged in. Amber silk. Oh. Okay. Um Mm -hmm. I want to do a new connection. What was that thing that I had to do? Um... What was that thing that I had to do um, with the access code? Oh, it was RSH. Um, that's right, I need an access code, not a username. Uh, and the access codes are four digits, so it's probably this. Okay. Okay. Um, message Jan. Okay, those are the ones we saw. Message Boyd. Message, hey. Hey, Boyd, I just heard Chloe say she likes you a lot. I know she went out on a date with you a few years ago. Well, I guess she's wanted you ever since. Maybe you can give her a nice... Sauvignon or Morlo or whatever. I know how much you love those things. Oh, it's supposed to be Sauvignon and Merlot. Okay, so wine. Okay. Uh, uh, um, okay. Chloe, uh, message heads. Just a heads up, I think Boyd is going psycho on you again. I know you're trying to avoid him as much as possible, which is why I'm telling you. He's so weird. I'd never want that nut job after me. Did you know he told me he's obsessed with his Pinor? He says even he even has a secret bottle that was on the Santa Maria back from the year the USA was first discovered, whatever that means. Be careful, girl. My god. Amber is uh Well what they uh They call in France a shitster. He just wants the drama. All right, so the only other four-digit number that we have is the year America was discovered, which this is not accurate, obviously, but that is um, as it is often called. So 1492 and wine. Okay. Jan. Amber. Okay. 
Chloe. I really, hey Chloe, I really like you. Can we go on another date? Your skin is like a fine Shiraz. We could smash grapes together. I have a great cork screw. Do you still like me? Message forwarded to TDI account void for editing. Okay. I think we're going to need to get into his account then. <laughs> not, uh, not super digging this game. Uh, it's having a lot of the same problems as the second one. Which is unfortunate because, I mean, that I let slide mostly because it was like a month between releases. Um, this one is... A, two years later and it seems like it's the same problems. Also wine? No? Fuck. Grapes, Shiraz, uh, Merlot, Root, Rosé, Champagne, Champagne. Oh, I did misspell that. That's not how you spell it either. It's got a, a P A G N E, right? Okay, yeah. Um, P A G N E. Oh. No, that's not it either. Do I have to list off every fucking kind of. There's so many kinds of wine. Kino Noir. I don't know, you know, they're all French spellings as well, so of course. I being a sufferer of the American education system don't always spell things correctly. Okay, what other kinds of wine are there? I know there's this, so they did mention Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon. Okay. Um, no, I'm not going to Google a list of every variety of, cause I, okay, we haven't even gotten to the German wines Zinfandel Riesling um Hasty um Spumante not gonna list every kind of wine there is honestly no lie if if that's what they're asking me to do I'm just gonna quit because I'm not even going to see the game through. I'm not going to spend three hours of my life playing stupid guessing games. Um, so, um, let's skip that and move right to other things associated with wine. Uh, corkscrew. Cork. Oh my god. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. All right. We're going to put up with that one and proceed. But if there's any more like that, mark my words, we are done here. Hey, 
I really like you, and I know you told me not to discuss non-work items, but I just heard something that made me want to try again. You are the peel to my grape, the goblet to my lips, the cork to my screw, and you have great legs. I want to be with you again, my little croissant. And if you want to be with me, in the, with, with me, I'll be waiting at our old hangout. I know how much you love your French independence, so I reserved a suite at the Bastille Day Inn. Please don't make me whine. Boyd. Have some fucking self-respect. Can you tell me if you have any pre-made rings in stock? Oh my god. Looking for a three-carat diamond engagement ring, and it has to be a pink diamond. But if you have, at any price, please let me know, and I'll pick it up tonight. But only if you have one in her favorite color. Damn. My friend. Boyd. Pump the brakes, dude. Oh, Boyd, thanks for subscribing to my MMR blog. As a valued member, be sure to use the secret passcode FRIDAY on my site to access additional content. Okay, what is MMR? Okay, um, I don't have a URL, and it's not in his bookmarks. So, um, best, uh, French independence. Um, so I always have to think about it for a second. I swear to God, uh, 1776, uh, then we have, um, Shays Rebellion, uh, 1780, fuck, 1789 or 1794. Anybody here who knows? I'm, I'm first. I'm fucking up French words, and then I'm not remembering French um, history. If you are from France and you're listening to this, I'm so sorry. I normally do better than this. I promise you, I do. Seventeen eighty nine, seventeen ninety four, and then her favorite color is pink. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. Ugh. This is uh, this game is doing a really good job at making me feel stupid with the way that they are presenting me information, which isn't entirely the game's fault. I'm willing to admit, and yet, I'm willing to blame the game if you are. Okay. Oh, I can't believe that swine. Why won't he just give, leave me the hell alone? Thank you so much for letting me know. You've always been so nice to me. I really appreciate it. But you know, the dress you're wearing really makes your chest look small. Maybe you should wear looser clothes. Like that pink sweater I wore last week. There's nothing I love more than pink. Well, besides blue, that is. So blue is actually her favorite. So then why would she make her password for the R.A. such uh, 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 pink? Does that mean that her Does that mean her password for this is blue? I'm gonna try pink first because that makes sense. That doesn't even make sense, game. It doesn't even make sense. Congratulations on ordering our latest self-help book, How to Use Reverse Psychology to Win Their Heart. In the step-by-step -step book. You'll learn how psychology can become your greatest ally. All you need to do is reverse it. For example, let's say you want someone to know you're attracted to them. You tell them they look nice, but most times your comment will be ignored. However, you simply reverse the statement and play hard to get. You're guaranteed to get results. Happy hunting. Oh my goodness. Is she secretly actually in love with uh, Boyd? Because, I mean, people who play mind games aside. Hi, Chloe. Thanks for checking out my blog. I hope you enjoyed it and will visit often. Please feel free to tell anyone you know that they're welcome to... Okay, so that's what MMR is. Else, no. 
Oh, uh, I forgot to enter the URL. My midnight run. It all started with ice cream. Not any of that processed crap sold in the big box stores. I'm talking about the homemade crack they make at the all-night corner deli. Black Cherry Ecstasy. Mom and Pop Deli is located in the heart of the city. Looks like it's only a block from my tiny safe work from apartment. But I won't lie to you. I drive 100 miles for some of that stuff. Hell, I'd run that far. And as it turned out, that's sort of what happened one night while on my way there. And that's why I named my blog Midnight Run. Okay. Friday. Where to begin? It was Friday and not even a good Friday. It was the kind of Friday that greets you with your ex just left you, no one will ever want you, and you're ugly. Yes, it was a very bad Friday. Work, which kicks my ass regularly and decided to make it a double that day, didn't go well. But fortunately, they always make us leave at five, and as we like to say, it's time to get the bloody hell out of this place. And with nowhere else to go, I eventually ended up at home, alone. My newly designated Swift Hole. What the fuck is SWF? So I cried until I fell asleep. In my dream, I was someone else. Well, I was still me, but somehow different. I think it was the way I would have become had I been the one to end the relationship. Comfortable with the fact that I was alone only because it was my decision to put myself there. As I began to wake, I alerted myself. I altered. My altered self realized that we were about to become separated, and she began to say something to me. Was it condolences? Was it a secret way to get through the pain? The only word I remember hearing... The other Dexy say was run. Okay. I'm going to include this because it's in the quotes. Um, apparently that's Dexy's blog. Okay, you do need the exclamation point then. I am sorry I wasn't able to get you the latest results yesterday. They're here on my TDI system, and I'll send them to you as soon as they're done. Maybe I could get you a coffee or something to make up for it. Haha. 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 Still need to run the tests to get the data. Sometimes I, I'm i not even sure you know I exist. Things are so much better since the breakup. I don't miss my ex anymore, but it would be nice to share some BCE with someone. Uh, that's Black Cherry Ecstasy. From the ice cream. Um, ah, uh, that doesn't look right. What? Why can't I fucking spell today? That's how it's spelled, according to X Stacy. Yeah, okay. Apparently, I'm just second guessing myself. Um, with someone, if you're interested, I'd love to take you with. Until then, I'll keep waiting. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but after that bizarre dream I had, all I've wanted is to share ice cream with you, all natural. Everyone in this, everyone here. Okay. Um. You'll need to run the tests to get the data. Then why did you tell her that? I keep doing that. Midnight, not mine night.
<laughs> okay. Um, I don't have Dexy's access code yet. I must have missed a clue for it somewhere. That's what I'm thinking of right now. Um, four digit number. I was looking on the site for it. The current year. Oh, SWF, single white female. Um, uh, okay. Well, there's a hundred miles, so that's not right. When was ice cream invented? <sighs> all that's interesting.com says frozen dessert stayed all the way back to ancient China around 200 BCE. A staggering number of ice cream innovators over the centuries have developed. Okay, that's, that's frozen treats. I'm looking for specifically ice cream. The, the, this can't be the answer. This would be such a stupid answer to have. It would be so dumb for them to be like, they'll just look up when ice cream was invented. There's no way that this is the actual answer. And the reason for that is because there cannot be a conclusive answer to this. There's no way that we can conclusively say ice cream was definitely invented in 1651. Italian fresco de Catelli opened an ice cream cafe in Paris. Okay, that, that, we, that we know. But when was it invented? 550 BC, Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907 AD. Also, what constitutes ice cream? Are we including like frozen fruit juice, like sorbets? This can't be, this can't be right. This is a red herring. Well, not even a red herring, it's uh, errant thought. Um, What if I enter in other days? What if I go Monday? Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Saturday. Who is, um, who is Dexy talking to here about wanting to Share ice cream on naturel. Who, who is she even talking to? Male? We already read this. I have not used a, a hint legitimately in the entire time that I've played either of these games, but I have to use one now because what the fuck? Gives me a clue. Oh, on natural. Okay. Hmm. 
Uh, my midnight run dot com. No, I probably misspelled it. I'm misspelling everything today. No, that's just plain not working. <clears throat> Ice cream. Maybe I have to be maybe I have to be on Friday in order for this one to work. So let's try boop boop. Fuck you, you have to be on the right page for the codes to work. Oh, mm. oh. oh no 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 no. No, we're not happy about that. As I woke, my only thought was of the heavenly viscous substance passing through my lips, sliding over my tongue and throat and down my body. For the first time since the breakup, I thought of something other than despair, desolation, and depression. I thought of BCE, black cherry ecstasy. And I had to get some before I went mad. I grabbed my jacket and keys and soared towards my destination. Ravenous, starved, desperate. Sanity did not matter. Time did not matter. All that matters was one thing. And the bloody hell with anyone who tried to stop me or so i thought at some point in my journey i realized it was midnight and i was practically running towards my goal i glanced out at my hand half expecting to see the imaginary spoon it thought it was clenching there is no spoon i thought but it didn't really matter fingers would do the job just fine and why not why should i have just this one thing that i wanted i had gone months years without it because of my ex's dietary restrictions sure expelling the sweets had been uh good great for me too but this was my life now. The decision to eat what when was my decision, and I prided myself for making this decision. I turned the corner and ran into it. It was all that was all my mind could grasp. That this thing I had collided with at almost full speed could only be described as it. I was stopped dead in my tracks, but before the rebound flung me in an equal and opposite direction, I was steadied by it. It thrust its arms around me uh, with lightning speed and held me upright just inches from myself. I was immobile, and without a thought, I raised my hand, still clutching the imaginary spoon, and slowly positioned it between us until it lay directly between our mouths. My gaze, uncontrollably, only managed to steal a glance at its face as it smoothly grinned, made, it as a, uh, made as if to lick my imaginary spoon, then disappeared along with the rest of it into the night. And I stood there alone with my imaginary spoon clutched in my hand. Of course, I don't believe any of this actually happened. I know it must have been a dream, a hallucination. I was having a mental breakdown, exacerbated by a lack of nutrition, compounded by nights of inadequate sleep. Plenty of perfectly logical explanations for why it seemed real. Of course, it never happened. As I uh, said aloud, I peered through the darkness toward the glowing digits of my uh, night table alarm clock. It read 12.01, and then I realized there was something in my hand. The same password again. Oh, wait, okay. It. Oh, no. I thought I succeeded. It didn't. Uh, 1201. Okay. Weird. Um,. Thanks for finishing up the latest round of tests. I've been so busy lately, I have no idea when I could have gotten around to them. Oh, and I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to send you the final passcode. It's my hand. Okay. Um... Um... 
Bum, bum, bum. Um, then is it Hold on, I'm getting lost again. Ethan my hand. What the fuck? Where is where is this supposed to go then? Oh, I, yeah, that's right. I need the access code before I can do RSH. Uh, it's not not a username. I keep forgetting that. What? What? It just worked. <sighs> oh, I entered the wrong access code. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? All right, I'm gonna try. Uh, let's try reading that again. No, you're going around. Oh, and I'm sorry to keep forgetting to send you the final passcode. This game is making my. Okay, um, and I had no other messages. There was no other messages to mine for any more information. Oh, the final passcode for her dumbass site. I forgot. You gotta go down the entire fucking breadcrumb trail. I had difficulty on clenching my fist to see what lay inside. Raising my hand to my face and peering through the darkness, I discovered faint traces of a sticky... dark pig substance on my fingers, and then the undeniable smell of BCE about Dexy time. I'm working on my PhD from UCIT temporal distortion event research and currently work at night doctor as a research scientist. I love the past, the future, the present and BCE three responses to Dexy times post void says, wow, Dexy, I had no idea you were so deep. Um, this organized before I forget what shit does. Can you bring in some of that ice cream for me? I know just the right wine I drink it with. Sorry, I don't get it. Are you saying they ran out of your ice cream? Dead Ethan says D, thank you so much for sharing this with me. I have to admit, I have a, sim I have a similar prediction or predilection, but for me it's not dessert, it's death. You see, it's my favorite hobby, playing dead. Don't get me wrong, I don't actually want to be dead. I just like to pretend. You'd be amazed at people's reactions when they think you're dead. Dead, dead, dead. Let's say the word dead again. Let's do it again. Let's say dead. Everyone say dead. Everyone say dead. The password is dead. It's dead. Don't forget. It's. I, are you listening to me? It's dead. Hit me over the head. Because it's dead. Thank you for your interest in our society. Unfortunately, at this time, we cannot accept your application to join our club. We did want to say that the death by taxes image you sent us was very interesting. Good luck in your hobby, Coalition of Role Players for Simulated Executions. Ethan, you are fucked up, dude. We are thrilled to learn you have become the system admin for your company institution and understand how proud you must be. 
As a RSH system admin, you have achieved great control and power over your new domain. To begin, log into the system as the administrator by using the access code 9000 and password COOL. Again, congratulations. We're over 9000. Alex, you've looked into all my members of my team except for Ethan. He must be the only one trying to decide. After approving him, I keep digging until you find it. I am extremely bored. Well, that's everybody. Um, Jan, Chloe, Amber, Boyd, Dexy. That's everybody. So... What am I supposed to do? Oh, logs. Got a new option. Logs. Logins. Kenny Logins. Logs. Users. Kenny Users. Logs. Errors. Kenny Errors. Unsuccessful RSH server reboot. <sighs> e7 i don't know what the significance of this is that's not a project that's just an event id number so um derp. <laughs> by the way i273 you are watching this someday and uh, you decide to make another one of these alerts. And where's the fucking message now? See, this is exactly what I'm trying to say. Here we go. Alerts and messages like this. Make them a different color. Just make them a different text color so that you can tell when you get one. Just make it a different color. It gets buried in all of this fucking output. Just make it a different color. <sighs> okay. Um. Oh. I don't know what to do with that event ID. Um. Logs. Uh, that, that is apparently means something, but I don't know what it means. Um, Let's leave here. Death by taxes image. I don't know. I don't know what to do with any of this. No. 
Did I miss a did I miss a message? Keep digging on his system until you find it. The only thing I found is this. What is this supposed to do? Okay. Hmm. Mind dead. Mind fish. You, two, two, nine, nine. Find love. Find happiness. Find liberty. Find Nemo. Am I supposed to do something with that number? All right, we're doing it again. Partly because I honestly am running really low on patience here. Ethan is the system administrator for the RSH utility. Poke around on the system and see if there are any special commands you can use. Using the logs command, see if there's a system error. Try to use that command. What command? To view the details of the error. You're told about a message you should read, which contains information about how to connect to another system. You'll be looking for the command that you will use the username and a four letter password. The password begins with a C. What fucking. Logs. Errors E seven seven eight. What the fuck? There is nothing. Hold up before we read that shit. There is nothing in the description of the command here that indicates it can be used to read events. It says there are three logs. Unsuccessful RSH server reboot attempt made uh, user ID 501, whoever the fuck. Oh, oh I'm, I'm running low, running low on patience here. User ID 501 was on the system at 2.45 a.m. Who the devil is that? Alex, there's too much for me to say in a text. I'll put the rest in an email to you. What the bloody hell is going on here? I would like to know as well. Who is this user? There are only the six of us at Night Doctor. Well, plus my boss, but it wouldn't have been him. Look, all scientists are forced to exit the building at 5 p.m. every night. This is 2.45 a.m. Person has to be tied to the reason my research is being sabotaged. But who would? Oh, bloody hell. I think I know who it is. But we have to be absolutely sure it's them. These aren't the kind of people we can just call out. I'm sending you an update to the INST program that will help you to access their remote systems. And, well, hopefully you can log... In is me. Yes, I used to work for them, but not anymore. Hopefully they haven't deactivated my account. However, I can't remember my password. I seem to recall it had something to do with a damp, dark hole in the ground, but that's all I remember. Good luck. Good work, Alex. You've done well by me, but I need you to keep digging good luck. Sumo. Jan. Starts with the C, damp, dark hole in the ground. Kave. Hello and welcome to the Sumo system. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Oh, it's been a while since we last met. I hope you have been well.
We're all very excited that you decided to come work for us. I'm sure the personalities will help shape the impressions of our institutes. Will uh, public? Uh, why? Okay. We all hate to see you leave, but a woman's got to do what a woman's got to do. The Paris and Hong Kong offices sent their con congratulations as well. We all wish you the best of luck and happiness in your new career. And please know you're always welcome back anytime. The gals. Hey, bimbo. I got your going away gift. You really shouldn't have. Uh, I'd like to say it'll be easy leaving here, but you always make things so difficult. Oh, and you can't have my old mat straps and blocks. I'll never forget the first time you commented on how deep my downward dog was. Thought you'd pee your, your pants. Take care of yourself. Uh, okay. Well. We got a name. We got Paris and Hong Kong, but. I have no 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 reason to believe that these these would be and this is just to the gals. Hey bimbo. Difficult old, old mat straps and blocks. Um, well, this is yoga shit, so maybe it's, maybe it's just yoga. That's uh, all I got. It's not much, but that's all I got. Uh, that, the fact that it legitimately was yoga is just so fucking dumb. Final stages of our project are under. I'm, I can't. I have to will myself to continue. I have to will myself to continue to do this. What fucking level am I even on? 18? Oh my god, it feels like we have so far to go, but I have absolutely no idea. But even if it's 50, um, 50 uh, uh, levels, uh, like the first one, we're only at 18. Oh my god, we have so far to go. How long have I been doing this? Hour and twelve minutes. Ugh. Final stages of our project are underway, and everything is going according to plan. I've personally seen to it that all the obstacles have been removed, with the exception of one loose end. Nothing will stand in our way of achieving our goal. I have sent a detailed report to Heidi. Keep you posted, Heidi. Proud. Hi, you were right. I never should have doubted you. It's hard to believe we've come this far, and soon this nightmare will be over. I can't wait until the world realizes what we've been doing here all these years. You have so much to be proud of, gathering all of us here, giving us a common goal, providing 24-7 catwalk advice, as is your voice accomplishments. I truly really I thought I meant mindly. But now it's real as I call you prima donna. Who's this supposed to be two? This is another thing. This is another thing. The to and the from and stuff is a big part of this game is the messages. The messages going back and forth are basically how we are playing the game, how we are getting information and how we are solving puzzles. And yet the presentation of these emails is so piss poor. There's not even like fucking to from there's no dates, there's nothing, it's just messages. And we're supposed to figure out the context. Like, for example, I bet this is supposed to be to Heidi. And why do I think that? Because the last email mentioned Heidi. The last email said that a report was being sent to Heidi. Like, Paulina was going to send Heidi a report. But this is not that report, this is a totally different fucking thing. Heidi, prima donna, prima donna. Okay. Toodles. 
I don't even know if I'm supposed to be logging in as Heidi. It's just the only thing I can do because it's the only lead I have. It's the only name that I got that I haven't already been through. I don't know if I have the fortitude to complete this. I really don't. Um, is it another yoga? No, they, they don't mention yoga. Um, you know, it's a detour. I, I would be nice to get that report or something. Um, prima donna is our clue. Prima donna, prima donna. Uh, they're all supposed to be models. So... I guess that checks out. Um, is there a one word synonym for prima donna that I, cause it's prima donna is a two, two word clue and none of the passwords are two words. Uh, diva, it's not lead vocalist, that's two words. Singer doesn't make sense. Superstar? First lady, leading lady, soloist, superwoman, top liner, star. I'm gonna go star, superstar, and diva. I don't think it's headliner, that doesn't make sense. Star, superstar, diva. Fuck you! Oh my god! Existence is pain. Today is a glorious day. I can't. Today is a glorious day for not only us here at Sumo, but for all for uh, but for all of our sisters across the globe. It is high time for the bloodsuckers to pay for what they have taken from us. Oh, it's vampires. Uh, and thank night night doctor. Yeah, I got it. Uh, our chance for retribution is nigh. The last piece of the puzzle lies within our dearly departed Jan, and I have plans for how to settle up with her. I suggest we all prepare for the beginning of the end. Okay, I don't know what to do now because. That's my, there's no, there's no apparent lead in that. Okay, never mind. There's a message. I knew they were up to something. I can't believe they would be so evil as to, oh, wait, she's calling me now. Wait, hold on. I'll patch you in so you can listen. Oh, okay. Turn the audio on. Welcome in time. Hello, boss. I see you just connected to your old system. You know, you are always welcome here. Thank you, Heidi, but you know that isn't going to happen. But it's such an exciting time here at Sumo. We are very close to achieving our goals. You should be here with us. Heidi, how could you say that after everything you've done to me? What are you talking about, Bimbo? You know, it has always been my dream to free all of us Sumos. Ah, I never liked that acronym. To free all of us supermodels and all our sisters who deserve this. To free all women? Oh, you mean, I thought, oh, never mind. You thought I was after you? Oh, honey, I'd never cross swords with you. I care about you too much. You are and will always be my favorite bimbo. I've always believed beauty inside means beauty outside. Oh, thank you, Heidi. I'm so sorry. It's perfectly okay, dear. I want to see you succeed. But if you believe I hacked into your system, you still don't know who is responsible. 
I suggest you try examining dual cryptographic exploits in your secondary file vault. Here. John, I am sending you a program called Firewall that may help you. Oh, what is this? How very interesting. Hello, Alex. It has been far too long since I have seen you. Well, good luck, Jan. I hope you are able to get things figured out on your end, and I wish you all the very best. Thanks for your help, Heidi. Tschüss. I am in absolutely no mood for the cutesy bullshit. Absolutely no mood. Dual cryptographic firewall. Excuse me while I use my very best German accent. Okay. Can I use this firewall? Whatever the fuck. Uh -huh. Oh. oh. I don't know. What, the, what am I supposed to do now? Hello. What am I supposed to do? Hello. Did you forget to give me my next clue? Oh. God damn it. Okay. What the shit? An email will mention a new command you can use on Jan's system. Uh, no. Four letter username and a three letter password. Username starts with a C. Password starts with a P. I, I don't see any email that mentions anything. This is the only email there is. Do I need to log in as Jan? Yeah, there it is. Well, that's the recording we just listened to. It's the recording we just listened to. Welcome here. Thank you, Heidi, but you know that isn't going to happen. But it's such an exciting time here at Sumo. We are very close to achieving our goals. You should be here with us. Heidi, how could you say that after everything you've done to me? What are you talking about, Bimbo? You know, it has always been my dream to free all of us Sumos. Ah, I never liked that acronym. To free all of us supermodels. And all our sisters who deserve this. To free all women? Oh, you mean, I thought, oh, never mind. Acting mister. You thought I was after you? Oh, honey, I'd never cross swords with you. I care about you too much. 
You are and will always be my favorite bimbo. I've always believed beauty inside means beauty outside. Oh, thank you, Heidi. I'm so sorry. It's perfectly okay, dear. I want to see you succeed. But if you believe I hacked into your system, you still don't know who is responsible. I suggest you try examining dual cryptographic exploits in your secondary file vault. Here. John, I am sending you a program called Firewall that may help you. Oh, what is this? How very interesting. Hello, Alex. It has been far too long since I have seen you. Well, good luck, Jan. I hope you are able to get things figured out on your end, and I wish you all the very best. Thanks for your help, Heidi. Tschüss. There it is, firewall. Hey. Thank you for running this program. It will attempt to analyze exploits in your firewall and provide a detailed explanation of the results. Analyzing firewall analysis detected no external activity. However, suspicious nighttime activity has been detected by user ID 501 at 2.45 a.m. For information on this user is not available via this program, please contact your system administrator for a user 501 was inside the building when they tried to reboot the RSI system. You need to dig deeper within our systems, Alex. I could ask Ethan to look. I never really thought he was up to something. Yeah, you fucking liar. You so you totally did. You were pointing the finger at him moments ago. But I just don't know if I can trust him. Looks he's dumber than a bag of hammers. When I told him that the system administrator account for our TDI system was a piece of an easy as, it took him a week to figure out how to log in. Find out who do, who do, who did, who did, did you ever, have you, did you ever, would, would you, would you ever have a dream where you, when you, would you do, when you, uh, when you could do whatever you want? A piece of, oh my god, oh my god, watch this guys, watch this, four letters start to the C, a piece of cake, easy as, starts with the P, three letters, pie, the cake is a pie. This logs, reset password, mail, nothing, no files, sys logs, server reboot attempt, reboot failed, password reset, request complete for employee ID 501, host, Am I done? Horse did it. Send him to jail. Reach for the sky. Then what the fuck good are you? 
things. Realist pattern. Configs. Mail list. Auto send troop. Server name TDI. The one we're really interested in though. Default is change me. Damn. Forced. Change me. I wish I knew how many. I wish I knew how many levels there were. I just want to know how long I need to struggle to get through this, and if it's worth it or not. Because if it's, I'm on, I'm on level twenty-one. If it's thirty levels, it absolutely should keep going. If it's fifty levels, it's questionable. If it's seventy levels, I'm done. But I don't know, and I suspect that the reason I don't know is because they knew that if they told us, no one would ever finish it. Horst, you're hopeless. How many times have you forgotten your password? I had to reset it to the default again, but please change it to something simple like CCCCC. No, don't do that. That way it'll be easy to remember, like your RSH access code. I entered your data into the time project for you, but I shan't be doing it again. Is it, uh, well, it's supposed to be four digits, not... Um, not... not uh, not four letters, um, but do we have any other clues? No, no. Um, C C C C is our only clue. It can't be that though. It's got to be numbers. Oh, shit, what was the... He uses the same password? I, I don't know. I don't think either of those are right. Um, C, 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 C. It's got to be four digits. <sighs> Did I miss any digits? Some, like, were there any somewhere, somewhere? Something somewhere? Uh, should I go back and check the, I should have checked the, the, uh, car set config that might have a, uh, translation between alpha and numeric characters. Uh, CCC, CCCC is probably the password then, not the access code. No, it says that way it'll be easy to remember like your RSH access code. So the RSH access code is something easy to remember like those repeated characters. So... 6666? Password? Third letter of the alphabet. Yep, that's it. Okay, Jan, Chloe, Wade, Amber, Dexy, Ethan. Chan, Chloe, Boyd, Amber, Dexy, Ethan. Oh, I, I didn't catch his name. What was that guy's name up here? Doesn't give his name. Okay. <sighs> um... Jan, Jan, Amber, Boyd, Chloe, Dexy, Ethan. I got them all. Um, no messages for cake. 
don't know what the fuck to do now. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm guessing that this message was from Ethan. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to use another hint, uh, because I'm so tired of this. You'll want to find view a project, use a word mentioned in a previous message to locate it. The project details will list other information you can use t0 find oh two find more messages to from horst a clue is given in a message on how to connect to another person's system for this special person their password is actually five letters long and begins with a q a word mentioned in a previous message Oh, time. There's a time project. Okay, that one was fair play. I should have uh, been able to get that. Um, problem being, I'm just so fucking over this. All right. We got some new names here. Do 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 okay. Through the use of micro TT, microscopic time travel, our research deals with how atomic particles react when exposed to temporal distortion events. By discovering the correct ratio of matter to temporal distortion dispersion, we should theoretically be able to improve current capacity conditions enough to achieve a level of sustainability. Ant Man. And the wasp. Okay. I don't see how this is helping me, though. I have some new names. That's all I have. Of course, I needed more information, so they had to wait for me to enter into commands. So they could send me a text with the information. The text, which is, by the way, the same exact color as the rest of the output, so it's really easy to miss, and this is really fucking stupid. There's more than one person, and they're doing research? They're scientists? What? People are researching things that I'm not interested in, that I'm not working on? I'm not the only person working here? I might not even be the most important person working here? What? What? I thought someone was sabotaging my research simply to attack me, but now it seems like this is about scientific competition. Those bastards working at night went on around. I can't let them get away with this. You have to collect proof that they're competing with me before I can expose them. Well, you didn't give me any more information, so how the fuck am I supposed to do that? You gave me nothing else to go on, and I have nothing to go on. It's like I have to use hints. It's like I have to. The project details will list other information you can use to find more messages to and from Horst. Oh, because I can now do the message, Ivana. Uh, and then uh, the rest of the team. Message, bitch. It's exactly how I feel. Ivy, thank you for entering my data for me, but you don't need to be such a bitch about it. I know how special you think you are. How much do you think you deserve? Okay, so this, this is exactly why the message is not having a to from or any other metadata associated with them. It's so fucking frustrating because that last message I thought was from Ethan, but clearly it was from Ivana. But I have no way of knowing that until after I have the context, which is way after this, which would have been so much easier before. <sighs> Uh, 
probably dream about being carried around in your throne. You just figure your head the best, Savannah, as much as you want. I'm not going to bow down to you. Jacob. 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 Kesha, wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Okay, so I have one lead. Luckily, it's a pretty easy one. Or at least it ought to be. Oh, I'm not even in the fucking... Her... Jay, I hope you have a pleasant journey home. Please tell the family I miss them and keep their love close to my heart. I'll happily manage your data while you're gone, so worry not. I tried to reset the RSH system with your account again, but it was unsuccessful for some reason, and I remember that your account will be set to inactive, and it will need to be reset on your return. Fly safe, my love, Ivy. Okay. Um, which means that it was set to the default, too. Do I, do I need to do anything else? No, of course I don't, because this is just a typing simulator where you read messages. Oh, okay, I guess that's not right. Huh. That was the default, right? Or maybe it was... No? Um, okay, I thought that was... Did I misread that? Oh, it's the RSH system, not the TDI system. Um, but I don't have his access code. No, because Horst's was changed, and that's his TDI and RSH password. Change me. So, it is the same reset. So, why didn't that work? Okay. It is Jacob, right? Or is it just J? It is Jacob. Um, okay. Oops. I I don't know what to do then. Should be Jacob. Do I need to log? Did they change the default password in the meantime? There are several steps you need to perform to complete this level. An email tells you two things. First, someone caused an error to occur. And second, someone's password will... Oh, I need to go in and reset their password. Okay. That's why there was a password reset option before, even though... I mean, there probably shouldn't be. All right. That... Uh, okay. I, I probably had that one coming. That one feels like fair play. Because I was even thinking about coming back here and looking at it. And while I'm here. Configs. ASCII mutable. That's all it says. Okay. Um, can't reset Jacob's password, though. 
well then why the fuck what what is the use of the reset password shit then what is the use of it Yes, it is still change me. The fuck? What did the hint say again? Someone's password will need to be reset. Think about the systems and permissions needed to view errors and reset. Yeah, I'm the fucking admin account right now. Messages in the mailbox. <sighs> Kesha. Lawson. Cake. Oh, I need the user ID. That's why. No, I feel like that's not it, because I just entered 501 and it gave me the same bullshit. What happens if I throw random shit at? Okay, so that's just the default for, like... That's just what it spits out when it's just, there's no... It, that's, that's the exception handled. So all of those are just wrong. I wonder if it needs to be capitalized. Swear to God, if this is it. Okay. Um, then I don't know, man. I have no idea. Syslogs. That's employee ID, not user ID. Pigs. Pigs mail list. Configs car set. <gasps> really? Okay, yeah, and this is a good place to stop uh, because I'm just beyond frustrated with all this at the moment. So it's been about two hours. Perfect time to stop. Um, I don't know if I'm coming back for a part two, to be honest with you. This might be the end of the journey. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm doing the right thing. It's just not... Oops. Oh. Well, now it's got the bookmarks for those previous, so I guess, um, whatever. Uh, let me do the hint file, hint again. Uh, an email tells you two things. First, someone caused an error to occur, and second, someone's password will need to be reset. Think about systems and permissions needed to view errors and reset passwords to gain access to this person's account. Um, so am I not supposed to be the cake? Am I supposed to be horsed? Hmm. 
No. That's not right. Whatever. Um, I'm taking a break. And I don't know if I'm going to come back for part two. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. It's been two hours and I'm definitely had my fill of, uh, of hack time. Um, I think what I am going to do is I'm going to Google it and see how many levels there are and use that as a basis for whether or not I come back and finish because I'm on level 23. I could always just do the answer. Tips. Okay. If I come back, we'll see you then. If not, I'm moving on to some other games. Take it easy.